Hello, kamusta? My name is Rando and wow, after almost three months of not showing up, I finally came back to my YouTube channel with a new video review and I apologize for those who have been subscribed to my channel for a very long time and to my followers on Instagram who have been waiting, probably waiting for another video review. If you want to know why it took me so long, you can check my Instagram account, you know, Rando Libangan. And so yeah, here we are and today as I promised, I will be giving you a review of the Super Deformed Gundam X Standard ASW G08 Gundam Barbados from the anime mobile suit show Iron Blooded Orphans. So yet again, you are familiar with Iron Blooded Orphans. I've already elaborated it in uh, in my Gundam Gushion Rebake high grade review, you can check that video, links in the description below. But let me give you a little bit of a background here about Barbados. So just like um, Gundam Gushion Rebake Full City, the name Barbados is actually a name from one of the demons, one of the eight, if you call it, the eight governors of hell. And apparently here, Barbados is kind of like the hunter of the from the demons in the from the eight governors of hell Barbados is considered as the hunter of the group correct me if I'm wrong but that's what I remember about him so yeah this is piloted by Mikazuki August unfortunately there's no picture of him here on the box but yet again this is the protagonist's uh, mobile suit this is actually I believe is the um, the fort form of Barbados because he actually has the shoulder pads, the overall complete look for the Barbados without the upcoming armor, the reactive armor, blah blah blah. So anyway, let's not get into that and let's move the figure aside and actually get to the box itself. So the box is something that you wouldn't expect from a Super Deformed model kit and this is obviously much smaller than any uh, high-grade boxes it is not that much packed but boy is this super deformed model kit a very very cool looking uh, model kit so as you can see right here on the front of the box you get the standard logo for iron blooded orphans you got the gunpla logo on of course the bandai logo the manufacturing company and right here you can tell it is a sd super deformed x standard gundam which means it's like the um, the chibi version of um, of a certain mobile suit, you know. So we got a super deformed version of Barbados. We got the high grade version, the master grade, the perfect grade. So it is obviously different. It is obviously a different size, but it does mean it's actually much different from any other model kits. So much like any other model kit boxes, you got some information on the side, and you got the picture of the model kit itself with a little bit of detailing and panel lining and yes of course some of these are color correcting stickers and unfortunately being a Gundam mobile suit a Gundam model kit it is very loaded with it so this is the other side of the box which you can get a lot of action poses you can get with this guy again there some of these colors are not actually present with some of the accessories and the mobile suit itself so you can actually paint them or modify them yourself and here it is that is special or somehow weird about the super deformed model kits. You can combine parts of the model kit to certain accessories and be actually used by any uh, high grade model kit. I don't know if it actually works with other uh, high grade model kits like the Universal, Universal Century, but yeah. I've never really tried, but you know, we'll find out sooner or later. So without further ado, let's open the box itself. I just broke it. So right here you'll be presented with the manual first and of course being a super deformed and much shorter and smaller simpler build, this is a very short um, structure manual. It only like have, it only has like um, four pages. So you got there, you got some runners, and apparently this cone comes with only five runners. The fifth one being the polycaps for this model kit. And there are some instructions that you can do to build the model kit itself. 
some basic procedures with that and then at the back you get a much colored and this is the way you can combine the accessories for the model kit or for any high grade model kits that you please so again there it is you can combine the smaller parts of the model kit to high grade um, model kits you can actually like kit bash them not sure if it works with other model kits though so here, there you go there's the detailed and colored version of Barbados itself so moving on from the instruction manual let's see how much stickers Jesus <laughs> apparently unfortunately not a big fan of stickers but I have no other choice I I put them on a lot I put them all on the model kit but yeah a quick suggestion here I would prefer you painting your model kits rather than you know sticking with this since you know painting it would actually give the model kit much more uh, life and probably appearance if you could call it so here we have with the runner so this is the first runner that you can get so, so not actually the first runner this is actually the runner for the poly caps it is a very soft plastic you know very brittle then we got um, some parts here I think this is for the yeah it's for the chest second runner third runner for the um, frame I guess you it simulates the frame of the Barbados just like in the high grade and this is the white runner for the armor parts and the yellow one well for I guess the v-fin so those have five runners and yet again this is not a Shopee or Lazada product I mean I did not buy this from Lazadio, uh, Laza Lazadi I did not buy this off Lazada or Shopee so you can actually buy these stuff or you know supposedly at Toy Kingdom Toys R Us here in the Philippines if you live here but if you want to order this kind of model get your own you can actually order it this at www. I think that's too much this, this w. Is not okay. you know at Gundam Philippines I think that information might be wrong hold up <laughs> quite a misleading here but you can actually just look up Shopee if you live here in the Philippines and just visit the website and go to the Gundam official store and and now let's move to the actual spectacle of this video review that is the seemingly small model kit itself so here is the super deformed Barbados snapped together and out of the box and I gotta say a very very small model kit as you can see right here it is completely zoomed in into the model kit so you guys could have let's just remove the accessories so you can have a better look of his face so as you can see right here it is a surprisingly very detailed head for a very small model kit you can actually panel line this to give the model kit a much more um, lively appearance and much more appealing look you can actually make the colors pop with the right amount of um, panel lining so the front is um, packing with fortunately packing with a lot of stickers so some of them are not really placed well due to my incompetence and my stupidity I'm sorry about that and then if we get to the back yeah it some parts are very hollow some parts are colorless but again this is a model kit you can modify it with a lot of paint with a lot of uh, detailing and uh, it's all up to you so what is a super deformed model kit first and foremost yet again I already said it is a smaller or like a chibi version of any particular model kits present in the Gundam model kit universe but these super deformed model kits are actually a great start for beginner builders super deformed model kits are the baby step before you can get to like the high grade or if you prefer master grade perfect grade it's all up to you but these are the like I don't I don't know if you should call it a starter pack but these guys are actually the best option that you can do that you can buy and build as a beginner model kit so let's view the articulation of the SD Barbados itself 
So the head is on a double ball joint. I don't know if you can see it right there, but it is a double ball joint. So the head can actually rotate in left or right. It can actually rotate, but the Bofors gun, I choose to place it there. But Bofors, it's not Bofors, it's a smoothbore gun. It can actually rotate 360 degrees. It can look up that far and down that, not that much. The both shoulders can actually rotate 360 degrees and if you can actually see here uh, I don't know if you can actually see it is a butterfly jointed shoulder so the jol uh, sh shoulders <laughs> I'm sorry grammatical errors or a thing the shoulders can actually um, uh, the can the shoulder joints can actually pop out not a not too much but it's just the right amount you can get with um, forward arm poses and the arms can move in uh, it can move out and inward the elbow can bend only that far and it can also reverse bend only that far the wrists can are actually on a ball joint that you can rotate and it can move downward upward and then side to side and then the the waist of the mobile suit is actually on a ball joint, you can actually rotate 360 degrees, but I would not want to rotate it. It's a very fragile uh, model kit. As you can see here, the head is already very loose. So, as, same thing with the other arm. The shoulders can actually rotate. The can move in and out. Elbow can bend. Uh, the hands can rotate, move in and out, side to side. And as for the front skirt of the armor, the crotch and the side flaps are actually in one piece but yeah it's all it's actually in one piece it's in a ball joint so you can actually rotate it but it, it is limited so you can only get a variety of poses such as that and that and then the legs so particularly any sd model kits that you can get it doesn't have any knee bend but the legs can actually move backward and kick forward the ankles can pivot it is on a ball joint can move up and down and a little and it can, of course it can pivot but it can also rotate so i would say the possibility on this guy is not that bad and not that good so i guess it's on a kind of a middle factor it's in a neutral factor that it is good it is bad but it's otherwise possible as seen here on the box you can pose it in a different it, it can be posed in various ways that you would like so the possibility is all that good and all that bad and without so after doing the poses let's give a look at some of it um, let's just move this right here accessories so it only comes to around three accessories so the first one will get to the ranged weapon and this is the supposedly the smoothboard gun that the Barbados actually used on the show So this is a much simpler and uh, much detailed, it's actually a very detailed um, smoothboard gun for a super deformed model kit and unfortunately if you face it forward, look at this dude, it's, thin, it's almost as thin as paper. <laughs> Again it is a super deformed model kit so it's bound to be simple and you got the trademark uh, Barbados katana or sword if you would prefer to call it that. Again these accessories can be painted to how they look like in the show you can actually paint them including some other parts of the model kit as well so this is the katana or the sword and this is the trademark mace uh, the first trademark mace of the Barbados Let me smash. again this is a very unique weapon for a Gundam mobile suit as you would not see well I believe there are some other mobile suits that came earlier from the Barbados that actually had this kind of weapon. So this is a much smaller mace for the Barbados. It is the first mace that the Barbados actually wields in the show. So you can actually combine the mace and the um, smoothbore gun as shown in the instructions earlier. I think I'll just try figuring out. Yeah, I think it can be combined this way and you get this. <laughs> It's not that much of a weapon combination, but I guess you could call it um, a powerful combination. It's, it can, I guess Barbados can smack enemies without ammo with the use of the mace. 
And like in the instruction instructions, like in the instructions, the V fin for the model kit can be removed and combined with the sword. So you gotta find a specific hole in the sword to fit this uh, V fin, and you get what the fuck is that? This. <laughs> So you can combine this with any high-grade uh, model kits. I can actually use this with the high-grade Gundam Gushin Rebate, but yet again, I don't want to toy with that thing, and I never will again, but I might actually pose it for a few days from now. So overall, how would I rate the Gundam Super Deformed Barbados? I would say it is a 7 out of 10. It is not a very good model kit, it is not a very bad model kit, but yet again, this is a perfect model kit for those who are beginning in building uh, model kits, specifically the Gunpla model kits. Since Super Deforms tend to be much cheaper, well, somehow cheaper and much simpler and shorter build, this is a perfect starter for those who are curious and want to tar, uh, want to tar, want to try the uh, the Gunpla model kit building hub. And I would highly recommend this uh, particular model kit for those who are Iron-Blooded Orphans fan and are still getting in into the hobby itself. But it doesn't mean that you build this guy. It doesn't mean that you are a over... It doesn't mean that you can only stick to this guy. Yet again, you can skip this guy if you want to, but Gunpla Builders do not actually recommend that. If you can get simpler high grades, uh, master grades or perfect grades if there's any simple of any 1100 model kits you can build whatever you want but it's just a very very common recommendation for beginners to have these sizes of model kits so again if you want these model kits you can check out Shopee or Lazada the Gundam official store here if you live in the Philippines and you can actually and if you want to buy them personally if you don't want any delivery you can buy them at uh, Toy Kingdom, Toys R Us, and any other toy store available here in the Philippines. So, my name is Rando. This has been the Gundam Barbados Super Deformed Review. And I'll see you guys in the next review. I'll give you a much consistent sch schedule next time. And yet again, I'm sorry for the delay. But I'll see you guys in the next video. And it's December already. I will wish you guys a happy Christmas. Well, even though it's not yet Christmas, I'll wish you guys a... A, an advanced Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and stay safe as always from the pandemic. Keep your houses clean. Don't forget to wash your hands and apply some alcohol. Wear your face mask and face shields when you go outside. So my name is Rando and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. I kind of repeated myself over there multiple times.